Thermo Fisher Scientific has been there to support us in our growth. It's not just another company that we purchase a product from, but it's a support team that has helped us with ideas, with expansion of, of our company and our service offerings. We are a diamond, gemstone, and jewelry certification laboratory located in New York City. Uh, we're, we're an ISO accredited forensic laboratory and we provide certification, valuation and appraisal services but we do not buy or sell gems or jewelry. One of the uses that we have of the analyzer is that we were commonly sought after by TV shows and uh, news organizations to do investigative pieces because we are an unbiased third party certifier with no interest in someone's property for our gain only to tell them the true value and the worth of their piece. So before we started using these analyzers, one of the main problems is that the, one of the only other alternatives is to use acids. Uh, and, and most of these acids are um, definitely not uh, good for anyone's health to be, to be using them constantly. Uh, so the, 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 there was a limitation in terms of ha how many tests you could do you know, per sitting, uh, but also the, the precision of the acids is, is nowhere near what the analyzer can give you. So the acids might tell you that it's 14 carat or 18 carat, but if you have something in between, you would never know if it might be was 16 carat. There aren't typically acids for the in-between uh, carotages, as well as uh, the more lead and cadmium that be becomes into the, into the marketplace, uh, the more types of jewelry where, where people have allergies to nickel, so there's a lot of nickel-free jewelry today. With the acids, there was no way to determine that. So the analyzers give us the precision um, to, to really analyze the chemical composition of the jewelry that we're certifying, so it, it helps us to be a little bit more versatile in, in the services that we can offer, especially with respect to jewelry. This becomes another tool in the research gemologist's toolbox of identifying uh, what we are analyzing or what we are certifying. 